And we get underway at Spain 2014, the gold medal game up for grabs. The USA working to the right of your screen, control the tip. James Harden with a lob pass for, for Reed. Sides to go to the elbow and fire. What a start from the USA from the man who's been doing it all. And that's not his game. I mean, he's a rebounder and plays closer to the basket, but that one was nothing but net. Now Teodosic getting some treatment. Oh, the penetration was good and the finish likewise from Nikita Kalinic. He has such good vision and ability to be able to bring other people into the game, averaging four assists per game, Teodosic. Harden, again, four for Reed. Gets Irving involved. Shot clock to single numbers now. Left-handed shot from Irving off the money. Rodolitsa has the rebound. Teodosic leads the charge. Now with the penetration coming from Markovic. Kalinic, pass knocked down, gets it back. And they'll have a chance to reset. We played 60 seconds, two apiece here. With gold up for grabs. Teodosic now with seven on the shot clock. Lost a handle under pressure and a foul has been called as well. It's going to be Omilos Teodosic, the first in the game. And good defense from America. They ran the pick and roll pretty close to that sideline. And you see Davis coming around to be able to knock that ball out. Teodosic with the foul, but they're certainly going to turn up the heat on him. He's an important part of this Serbian team. Curry getting close attention off the ball. They deny him the pass. Davis, catch and shoot, way off the money. And a loose ball snatched there by Markovic, and he's off and running. Radulitz are up the floor quickly. Kalinic joining in as well. Now top of the key. Is by Litzer. Goes to Teodosic. Got beyond Harden, who gave him a nudge. They can't prevent him from opening his scoring account. And he will put Serbia in front. And Serbia are so good at using that pick and roll. No big man waiting in defense there. Davis caught out of position. Really needed to be able to come across and to be able to stop that penetration. But another great play from Serbia. Davis gets it from Kyrie Irving. Now Harden. Working on... Kalinic goes to work, gets it to tumble and a chance at a three-point play. Well, James Harden in getting to the free-throw line more than any other player for the USA, and he is hard to contain. He just has a unique ability to be able to create contact, as we see here, and still have the peace of mind and the, the ability to be able to make the three-point play. James Harden, 30 of 38 from the free-throw line. 79% gives the USA back the lead here in Madrid. Markovic, nice pass down low. Radulitsa jumps upstairs for the dunk. Great pass by Markovic. Good screen by Tia Dosic down low to be able to create the space. Great basketball. Stefan Curry being denied the ball a lot. Now he goes to Fareed. Finger roll, overcooked it. Rebound snatched by Markovic is everywhere at the moment. Until Dosic again exploring on the dribble. And the foul is going to be called. It's the first on the USA. Well, Markovic is more of a role player, but does a great job at rebounding, playing defense, hitting the open man. Doesn't contribute too many points, but doesn't need to with the sort of talent that this Serbian team has. Did you see that pass? Great pick. Nice finish. Harden just getting into the back of his opponent there will be called for the foul on Kalinic. Well, they've been able to unlock the USA defense on a couple of occasions here already, Shane. Well, they're just so good at using the pick and roll. They throw the extra pass, good spacing, great system from Djordjevic, the coach as well. Terrific player as a point guard for both Yugoslavia and Serbia. Now a foul's going to be called on Anthony Davis. So he will sit down having picked up two early fouls. We saw him in foul trouble earlier in the tournament in games that we've covered as well. Third team foul on the USA. And they do need to adjust from the way the game is called at this level compared with the NBA. Markovic, Teodosic had the ball slapped out of his hands by DeMarcus Cousins, who invariably has an impact off the bench. They go baseline and throwing it down by Litzer comes up with a finish. <laughs> He's been incredible as well. Again, it came from Tia Dosic, but what a finish. Well, they've got the answers at the moment. Serbia on the run. Markovic behind the back by Litzer. 
penetrating, got around a couple of defenders and makes another two. Serbia have doubled the USA here in the first three minutes. For Reid, though, bumped might have something to say about that. Well, we said Serbia wouldn't break, uh, wouldn't, uh, you know, fall down to the Americans. They're always going to bring it. Team that has a whole lot of belief about their own ability and playing with emotion at the moment. They look great. You see, cough up only 12 turnovers a game, which is one of the best at the tournament. His cousin's in traffic, just travelled, so continuation waved away. A little bit of dunking practice for DeMarcus Cousins. It was a nice pass, but he just bobbled it. And credit again to Serbia's defence. Well, surprise start in the first three minutes here. Teodosic. By Litsa. Down low for Reed wrestling with Miroslav Radulitsa. And the fourth team foul is going to be called on the USA. Well, he's a big man <laughs> inside. Tough to be able to get around. They're really trying to deny him getting touches and you know, four fouls already. It's going to be tough for them for the rest of the quarter. Timeout called. We've played just over three minutes. And everyone in this stadium, apart from the American fans, are hoping that Serbia win. Radulitsa getting some treatment from Cousins. Now Teodosic goes down low and they extend the margin to seven. And with the emotion they play with, this is very dangerous for the American team. Because once they get going, the Serbs... Curry, quickly the hard new bobbled the pass, now has to retrieve it. He's coughed it up, but it trickles out of court. Ten on the shot clock, and look at the Serbian players run to Markovic, who almost came up with a great play. Well, they're giving them all they can handle at the moment. Serbia. The USA need to find something. Kyrie Irving looks to generate something off the window. What a spectacular individual performance. He's had a great tournament too, Kyrie Irving. Expect to see Clay Thompson soon. He's been probably their best scorer off the bench and created impact both offensively and defensively. So wait for that one. Four minutes played in the opening quarter. Serbia by five with possession. Teodosic harassed by Irving. Shot clock to single numbers. Again, they find a low catch, and he goes to work. Guadalitza gets the finish, draws a foul, and some pained expressions on the face of the USA. And that was Tia Dosic again. You see that. He had no idea where he was going to throw that pass. It's his third assist in the first four minutes of the game. Radulitsa makes the extra there. It's an eight-point edge in favour of Serbia. He's a big man too. You see Radulitsa down low against DeMarcus Cousins. Harden looking for penetration. Drew the attraction of foul and gets the job done as well. Well, the captain standing up here and leading from the front. Another great finish. He would have to lead the NBA and this tournament in three-point plays. He almost puts the ball out in front to be able to taunt the opposition or encourage them to try and get a piece of it. Draws the contact and still finishes. Well, he talked the talk pre-tournament. Now he's walking the walk here. And they've been caught off guard by Serbia and James Harden, who we saw in the previous match against Lithuania, didn't score in the first half. Game prior to that against Slovenia, he also didn't score in the first half. Well, he's got six here out of the ten the USA have come up with in the first four and a half minutes. I'm going to need to see more than that case when you call yourself the best basketball player in the world. Radulica. Teodosic again trying to find a passing lane, forced to take the shot. An excellent work there from DeMarcus Cousins to knock it away from the cylinder. Harden on cue, wants to fill up the three and does. Oh, he's got some more, he says. Well, good play by uh, DeMarcus Cousins at the other end. You can't do that in the NBA. So these guys have to make the adjustment, get up there and get it off the rim, just like Cousins did. Six unanswered points from the USA, but Radulitsa going to work. Cousins rejected the shot. Great work from DeMarcus Cousins there. Prevents the two, draws a foul. 
Great spark off the bench for Cousins. Davis gets himself in foul trouble. And this is the advantage that the Americans have. You see, what a great block. Being able to pin that ball. But the advantage the Americans have is the depth and the amount of people that can step up on any one particular night. They're not relying on one guy. Stephen Curry, he hasn't even scored yet. Yet uh, other guys can step up. Not the best free throw shooter in the team. DeMarcus Cousins by far, 13 of 22 from the stripe at 59%. Both teams in the bonus situation in terms of fouls here in the first quarter. And the USA draw level, so they've scored the last eight points to get back to 15 apiece. Momentum is such a big thing in this day and age for most sports, but you know, there's much basketball and... Again, uh, Georgievich will have to be watching this right now because if America score again, they need a timeout. Violetza goes to work, can't complete it. Cousins the rebound, and he wanted it. Kyrie Irving, Harden to his right for Reed down low. Still Curry yet to get a good look. And he goes solo. It was a good option for Irving. He adds another two. The U.S. have caught, scored 10 without reply to retake the lead. And I'm surprised it hasn't been a timeout. 10 points is a massive run in international basketball. They need to be able to stop this momentum. Well, they answer the challenge. Bogdanovich, being one of the stars so far, penetrates from close range. Kristic normally would do better. And this is what he should have made. Irving. Decides to go solo with a three ball and knocks it down. Oh, they've torn off 13 points without reply and now lead by five. Still no timeout. 15-7 to be down 20-15 to 15 now. Teodosic guarded by Curry. Spinning. Goes baseline. The extra pass was a good one, but again, he couldn't finish it. Then had Kristic. Costly error. Irving. On fire at the moment, makes another two. Now they want timeout. Kyrie Irving adds another two. He has nine. The USA have scored 15 unanswered points. Certainly the momentum shift has been dramatic. It was Serbia reeling off eight without reply. And now the USA have taken it from 7.15 to 22.15 on a 15-0 run. And that's come in just two minutes and 20 seconds. A little over three minutes out from quarter time by Litzer. Goes to work, draws a foul. Rudy Gay into the game, gets his first. Free throws to come for by Litzer. And yeah, not a great foul from Rudy Gay. Long way from the basket. And to be able to put them to the free throw line when you're on a 15-0 run, just didn't really need to be able to do it. And a good free throw shooter at that as well. Mylitsa, who plays in Turkey. 84%. He's top five at the tournament. 27 of 32 free throws. And they need to stop this onslaught any way they can at the moment. And he looked automatic there. Well, he's had a great tournament as well with 11 points and seven rebounds. Four players in double figures for the Serbian team. And he led them in rebounding and assists in the last game he played. Almost two points for that. Here's Kyrie Irving. They can't stop him at the moment. He shares it with Cousins, who fires and knocks down the shot. Nine of 13 at 69% from the USA. And he was talking to, to Kristic. He's feeling it right now, DeMarcus Cousins. What an explosive start to the gold medal game. Shot clock works to single numbers. Bailitza picks up the dribble, needs help. Kristic from close range goes to dunk. A high percentage play after missing his first two shots. Well, at least he's learned. That's what he needed to do with the first couple. Very experienced players. Spent time in the NBA as well. The oldest player on the team for this youngish Serbian team. With James Harden attracting plenty of attention. Shot clock to single numbers. Irving sneaks a look at it, wants to fire the three. <laughs> Why not? Can't miss at the moment. Irving has 12 to lead all scorers. That's exactly the way they play. Different people standing up at different times within a game, but he's been exceptional, Corey Irving. The last six games, they've had six different high scorers, just to underscore the point you're making, Shane. 
It's by Litzer. They offer him the left-hand side. Works into the help D. Cousins. They've got two on the shot clock. It goes up unsuccessfully there. Mogdanovich and Marcus Cousins. Well, he's come to play. Harden. Hard to contain in this situation. Couldn't finish it. Rudy Gay gets the rebound. He goes to work against multiple opposition. Now Harden again. They keep it alive. And the shot knocked down by Derek Rose. That was Clay Thompson. He's only just come onto the court. And the first time he touched the ball, he shoots an off-balance three from the corner. He is just such a talent. Less than 90 seconds to play here in the first term. They work it down low to Kristic again. With problems, stepped out of court and Marcus Cousins is doing an excellent job after coming in with Anthony Davis going out with foul problems. And there's Thompson. He's explosive early on in the game against Lithuania where he had eight points off the bench in the first quarter and he can knock down the shot. Well, he can, but I think he's their best defender as well. And he's really created so many turnovers for opposition guards. Can really defend anyone, one through four. Rudy Gay goes to work, athletically but unsuccessfully. And Bailitza puts a stop to it. This is Stefanovic. With inside 60 seconds left, first quarter. And the finish up high up the window from Simonovic wouldn't tumble. So the margin is 11. Thompson down low. Rudy Gay dances into the paint, adds another two. His first points in the game. USA has six scorers here in the first term. The margin is out to 13 points. They trail by eight in the middle stages of this quarter. And Jovic splits a couple of teammates and the ball out of court 32 points in a quarter unbelievable display particularly after starting off not well for the big three from Kyrie Irving oh this has been an absolute brilliant performance from the USA 35 19 they trailed 15 to 7 it's been 28 to 4 the last five minutes in this quarter and with it about to expire the tip in will tumble they needed that right on the buzzer but overall honors are with the might of the usa at the end of one they have a 14 point lead it's the usa 35 leading serbia 21. Oh, just unbelievable tough. Takes your breath away. And nice cameo from DeMarcus Cousins as well. 4.6 rebounds off the bench. Ooh. So what can Serbia come up with? They have the possession arrow. And going quickly, Bogdanovic caught the front of the rim. And Kenneth Fareed grabbed the rebound. Over to Irving. Now they need to get some defense on him. DeMarcus Cousins was wrestling down low. Foul's going to be called on Stefan Bocevic. That was a good shot from Bogdanovic at the other end, shooting the ball at 42%. Hasn't scored tonight, the 22-year-old, so he'll be looking to try and open his account, and Serbia certainly need that. Oh, active hands there from Bogdan Bogdanovic, just deflecting the pass. USA will try their luck again through Rose. Now Thompson, no surprise to see Teodosic giving a hard close out on him. Gets it back from Cousins, goes to work and splashes another three. They've hit six threes without a miss. Yeah, just incredible. You watch him off the ball. He works so well without the ball. And you see him pre-game in a lather of sweat, working on every angle, every shot, coming off down picks, just like he did there. And both him and Steph Curry can really get their shot off quickly from range. Stefan Jovic brings Serbia back up the floor. Now Teodosic in a mismatch with a pass for Kerstic. It was a good one. He just couldn't reel it in. 
But they keep it alive. They've got 12 seconds on the shot clock. For a stitch. They move it through sets of hands to Milos Teodosic and a foul. Going to be called on the USA. Well, really, the story of the game so far, America 6 out of 6 from the three-point line and Serbia 0 out of 4. Both great three-point shooting teams. And Serbia actually averaged 40% from the three-point line with America only at 38. And I say only, it's still good shooting. Yeah, top four at the tournament. Well, good D from the US, but it goes wasted. Teodosic get a good look at it, and he knocks down their first three. On some, might be exactly what they need to be able to get a little bit of confidence back and stop that run. Irving putting on a show, goes to work. Oh, and it's helped in by Kenneth Faree. Well, Danovic, they move it again. Teodosic to come up with it. In traffic, needs help. Skip pass. Lecevic fires unsuccessfully. A foul is going to be called on the USA, though. And it's on Kyrie Irving. And you have to look at the contrasting offences. America really don't move a lot. Rely on one-on-one -on -one, uh, skill sets to be able to get that done. Whereas Serbia have a great system and a lot of down picks and dribble handoffs and an ability to be able to find the open men off rotations. In traffic, Mogdanovic relieved of it. He goes back to try and retrieve the situation and is going to be called for the foul. Great defense from Derek Rose. He's a little bit outsized there in the post, but really just played great D and just took it off him. Well, that's how Kyrie Irving's only miss, and that was probably going to go down as well. Just went down a little bit harder with Fareed smashing it. His cousins just monstering his way to the hoop. Miroslav Radulica thought he'd travelled. Referees didn't see it that way. Bogdanovic at the other end and gets the answer in too. Yeah, don't sleep on the Serbs in transition. They will get it up and just a great passing nation as well. Almost two minutes played, term number two. Irving, DeMarcus Cousins, wraparound pass for Kenneth Fareed. Misses from close range. And again, off the window, couldn't make it fit either. Teodosic, feeling a shift in momentum, wanting to go on with it. Bogdanovic down low. Radulica had to reel in the pass. Teodosic, and an offensive foul is called as Kyrie Irving was taken down. Yeah, I, think, I think that was the right call. The big fella. He just made some space. Radulica, right there. Kyrie Irving certainly accentuated it, but the right call. Derek Rose just walks confidently up the floor, fires. No connection for him. And he's one of 18 from long range in the tournament. 6% before he took that shot. Nothing to write home about. No, certainly uh, it's going to take a little bit of time, as we've seen, for Derek Rose to get back to the sort of form he was in before he had that injury and really been out the last couple of years. So we've, we've noticed that uh, he's certainly a bit rusty, that's for sure. Sixteen point buffer. Well, it's only seven five here in the second, so we've been able to stem the flow somewhat. Serbia. Radulica in a mismatch against Rose. Tried to work the ball to Markovic. A good work from Bogdanovic to reel it back in. Now it's loose. The USA win the scramble. Touch pass. And look at the finish from Fareed. And what a play from Derek Rose. Well, that's their seventh turnover now. No, it's not their sixth turnover for Serbia and normally they're so good at being able to look after the ball as we mentioned a little bit earlier. Great touch pass for the Americans in transition. Well they're enjoying themselves at the moment the USA as DeMarcus Cousins sits down six points six boards in ten minutes and Anthony Davis the starting center comes back for Reed. Now up to seven, his individual tally. Irving with 15 and Harden with nine lead the USA charge. Well, they just continue to get this lead out. 
Curry's looked a bit frustrated in the last few games. And you see there, just slapping at the ball. Hasn't found a way to be able to get that beautiful three-point shot that he's got going. Yet to take a shot in the game. Shot clock to single numbers. This is by Litzer. Down low. Tough shot. Never looked likely. And the USA off and running again. Look at Davis working hard. Rose, lucky to get the pass back. Curry finally gets an open look. Can't complete it. Oh, what a job from Anthony Davis with the offensive rebound, but he couldn't put down the shot. But the USA will get another opportunity. And Serbia have to come up with that ball. It's their only chance. If they give up offensive rebounds to the USA, they're going to be in trouble. So offensive rebounds and being able to look after the ball. Can't afford turnovers. Seven turnovers to one so far in this game. Rebounding was always going to be an issue for Serbia. The USA averaged 45 a game to lead the tournament. Serbia at 32, bottom five. Here's Fareed trying to outmuscle them. Went hard at it. It's going to be a foul on the USA, the fifth team foul as well. Already Serbia over the limit as well. So free throws to come. Yeah, well, they need them. And good defense from. The Serbian big men there, definitely a foul. But uh, Serbia just have lost a bit of momentum as far as their scoring. Still at 55% field goal. It doesn't help when you've got seven turnovers. Well, the USA have taken 10 shots in this quarter and Serbia three. Miroslav Radulica. A great stroke for a big fella, hasn't he? And top 10 in the tournament in field goal shooting as well at 55%. He's a legitimate seven footer and got a little bit of beef behind him as well. Middle stages, term number two. And USA with a handsome lead, 17. James Harden. Casually, hands over, ready to fire and going quickly. Rudy Gay unsuccessfully. Radulitsa grabs the rebound. This is Markovic sharing it with Radulitsa. Now Teodosic guarded by Curry. And now Davis is called for a foul. That's going to be his third. He might have to sit down again. And Teodosic does a great job coming off that dribble handoff. Seeing that Davis was up a little bit too high. So he's the one who creates the contact. You see, he really mixes their hands together and makes that happen. Big call. If Davis goes to the bench and Demarcus Cousins comes back. It's almost they'd prefer Davis to stay out there at the moment. Curry sits down as well. He's played eight minutes and they really have blanketed Stephen Curry. Just none of one from the field. Well, there are three scorers who have been putting points on the board with James Harden, Irving. And also Clay Thompson out there now. Just such a dynamic that court. Tudosic makes the back end there as Bogdanovic sits down. That was the first miss free throw of the game. The USA had hit five without a miss. And now Serbia six of seven. But it's a 16-point lead. Kyrie Irving. Demanding court time at the moment, the way he's playing. Rudy Gay. They get it to Clay Thompson. Can't finish it. Look at Rudy Gay. Just out of nowhere, launched himself skyward and throws down the double handed dunk. Obviously, that's the big advantage for the Americans. Just the athleticism they've got in each spot on the floor. Mike give hands from Kyrie Irving. He's top five at the tournament and stills almost came up with his one there. Seven on the shot clock. Tio Dosic double teamed. Markovic needs to get busy. Radulica goes to work. It's an offensive foul. Another turnover. They just have to do a better job of getting a shot up with every possession. Great defense there, taking that charge. Almost five minutes played in the second. Cousins takes it from Irving. Yudosic did a good job to deny them a passing lane to Thompson. And that just ended with Rudy Gay knocking down the shot. Second three for Rudy Gay. He 
he's done it from the three-point line. Did it with a big tip jam before, showing his versatility, playing as a four-man. Pass finds Kalinic, and he shares it with Teodosic. Can't complete it. Cousins got a piece of it again. And now the foul's going to be called on Clay Thompson, it would appear. So more free throws to come for Serbia. Good extra pass, too, to be able to find Teodosic at the top. Missed the open shot. Now they'll find a way to the line. Steph Curry comes back. Thompson will go to the bench. Rudy Gay, very confidently, just comes up with the finish. So Markovic to the free throw line. Three of eight at 38% in the tournament. And not improving at this stage. Well, he ran the form on that one. Twenty-six-year-old plays with Van Vitt in Turkey. Makes the back end. Kyrie Irving almost lost the handle there. Now rushes forward. Twenty-point lead for the USA. And they've got Irving at the top of the key in a mismatch with Bailitsa. He fires the triple, and it's all the bottom of the net for Kyrie Irving. He has four been four. He's incredible tonight. Margin out to 33. And the USA just coughed that up between them. Easy one from Belitzer as well. Could have got a little bit of contact there. As you see, Kyrie Irving just in rhythm right now, playing with an unbelievable amount of confidence. A little over four minutes out from halftime. He lost to Dosic. Exploring on the dribble, down on the baseline, needs help, provided by Kalinic. They get it outside. Markovic fires, can't complete it. DeMarcus Cousins grabs the rebound. Here they come again. James Harden. Had Kalinic on the retreat, now he works to his favoured left-hand side. In a mismatch with Radulitsa. Steps back beyond the three-point line and splashes another. Well, this is incredible. They're 9 of 13 at 69% from beyond the perimeter. They have a 26-point lead. Timeout called 3.40 left until halftime. This has been an enormous shooting performance from the USA. James Harden just finds so many different ways to be able to score. Markovic with the ball carrying juice, hands off to Bailitsa. He works to the three-point line, fires and knocks it down. One of seven from deep prior to that one tumbling. See if they can get something happening at the offensive end. Rudy Gay was looking back for Irving. Loose ball and will go to Serbia. Well, they need to keep fighting here, Serbia. And it was always the question in the stadium before the game is, will they be content to be able to settle for a silver medal? I didn't think so, but we're going to be able to see how much fight they've got here in this last three minutes of the half because America traditionally have been unbelievable in the third quarters. Markovic hands over to Bailitsa, guarded by Rudy Gay, the two number eights at it. DeMarcus Cousins with the active hands again, and he's going to draw a foul. And we'll go back to the free throw line. Good defense from DeMarcus Cousins as well. Serbia ran the same play as they did the time prior, where they hit a three point shot. Much better red. Have a look how active the hands are from Cousins. He's been good. Going to see Mason Plumley check into the game for some early minutes. Marcus Cousins, three of three from the free throw line. Has half of the USA output from that area. Yet to miss. I talked him out of that one. It's too much the rebound. And now Markovic penetrating. 
Bylitza looks down low, baseline, running out of room, got it off quickly and successfully. Nikola Kalinic to come up for the goods. And they've forced the error again. It's too much. Waiting for help. Back to Teodosic. Fans trying to will Serbia back into the equation. Vladimir Stimac, one way. Got Cousins in the air, rejected the shot. And Harden in traffic, wants to go solo. Again marches down low off the window, adds another two. 14 in the game for the captain. And again, it started with DeMarcus Cousins with that block at the other end. Top of the key, Kalinic can't complete it. Cousins, another rebound. And now it's Steph Curry joining the three-point party. This has been extraordinary. 10 from 14 from the three-point line. Two from nine for Serbia. The margin at a game-high 27 points. Less than two minutes out from halftime. There's the rejection from DeMarcus Cousins. Boy, is he... Had a great game. Seven points, eight rebounds. Timeout called with 1.49 left here. This has been extraordinary in this day and age from the United States in the final of an international event. Well, especially considering against it's against a team like Serbia. They're not playing Korea. More free throws to come here. Foul count is growing. USA has 14, Serbia 12. Well, we've spoken about it as well in the last couple of games, Case, is that America seem like they've continued to get better with the better opponents that they've had to play against. They've just continued to step it up. They've really gelled as a team, played well, played unselfish basketball as well, and really turned it up at the defensive end, and they've done that again tonight. Bylitzer, who's been so good on the free throw line, misses there. That just sums up the evening. And at the other end, it's James Harden, who now has 17 points, his highest score at the tournament. And it's all come before half time. They lead by 30. That's incredible. Have we seen a better shooting display at this level? 11 of 15 threes at 73 percent and 60 percent from the field overall at 24 of 40. Well, I mean, it's that, that shot itself isn't a surprise from James Harden. The fact that they've been able to do it consistently 11 out of 15 times is what's surprising. And now Serbia missed their third straight free throw. So just over a minute out from half time. Can't come quickly enough for Serbia. Remembering they led by eight points in the opening quarter. At the moment it's 29, the USA's way. Curry in traffic, draws a foul. So he will be off to the free throw line. And the scary thing for Serbia is that Steph Curry hasn't really got involved so far. He'll make these two free throws. It'll take him to five points, but he's the sort of player that can get involved and hit four or five threes in a quarter himself. Hasn't missed a free throw at the tournament. Steph Curry, that's 14 in a row. Yeah, I don't think you'll put the Mozzer on him. Case, just a great action. So consistent. You see him and Clay Thompson every game getting out here, and they just take hundreds of shots getting themselves ready for the game. 31 is the margin. Kalinic for Bylitsa, who elevates for the triple off the front of the rim. Curry gets the rebound. Looking to get busy, goes solo down low, and he traveled, according to the referee. Just the fifth turnover for the USA. Serbia has nine in that category. Serbia look a bit fatigued. You have a look at their perimeter shots. The majority of the ones that have missed have hit the front iron. 
Shot clock is 11 seconds inside the game clock. Stimac. Back to Bogdanovic. He draws a foul. And we'll go to the free throw line. That's 16 fouls now on the USA. Only average 19 a game. Well, this has not been an ordinary game. It's been extraordinary. Well, it hasn't been a big one for him. Bogdanovic, only his third point of the game. And he averages 12 points at 52%. So the last play of the first half. 29 the margin. Harden pushes over. Kalinic, it goes on whistled. Didn't even bother try to exploit the advantage. He wanted him to come back for more so he could fire the three. Short armed it. Now they get the ball. Get it off quickly. Kalinic on the buzzer. He drills it. Gets the three. At least they have something to build on because this has been largely one-way traffic in the first half. An extraordinary shooting display from the United States. They've hit 11 threes to just three from Serbia. That one on the buzzer. And at the major break, the margin is 26. It's the USA 67, Serbia 41. Well, our commentary almost seems surplus to requirements at the moment, Shame. I'm tempted to take the headset off and put it down and just watch this. This has been a remarkable display by the USA. Yeah, it certainly has. <laughs> I thought it was going to start with another three from Curry. Let's see whether they can replicate that first half. It'll be a difficult task. Well, they go to work, and that's the start that by Litza and Serbia needed as he marches in for the dunk to add the two. They scored 59 points in just 16 minutes in that first half. 59 to 26 it was after they were down 8-15. Yeah, incredible display. And now we need Serbia to be able to look after the ball and compete in this second half. Foot violation called, so the USA... Cousins starting this second half for Davis, who has three fouls, played limited role in this game. Bailitzer goes to work, this time up the front of the rim. Irving had it, almost relieved of it there by Markovic. He goes back for seconds, good hustle, on he gets it to Kalinic, who goes to work and comes up with the finish. Oh, I think that's a bad call. The Serbs will take it, but Cousins did a great job of being able to pick the direction that he was going and hit him right in the middle of the chest. As you see Markovic come up with the loose ball here. Great save. I'm not sure what else Cousins can do. So Nikola Kalinic to the free throw line. Well, they catch a break there as well. well. The ball just bubbled on the rim and Cousins couldn't reel it in. It's now by Litza. Hands over to Milos Tiodic. Tiodosic. Back to by Litza. Little Litza goes to work with the left hand. Can't complete it. And Cousins eventually reels it in. Now Kyrie Irving. Goes on with the dribble. Passes for Demarcus Cousins, who was going to work. And he was going to get very physical. An unsportsmanlike foul has been called, somewhat surprisingly. A little bit of jaw jacking going on as well. Yudosic having words with Cousins. Fighting out of his weight division, I would have thought. Yeah, no, he certainly is. And uh, it was certainly a hard foul. Nothing to get too upset about, though. 
Marcus Cousins plays a hard style of game himself. Certainly pick up a technical foul in the second quarter against Lithuania when he had the fist raised. Let's, see. Let's get another look at it. Matalitska had the foul, and then Cousins come down, came down heavily on by Litsa. And Milos Teodosic didn't like that at all. Nine of ten from the free throw line, the USA. Haven't put a foot wrong since that slow start. And now they've got 71 points in the game. At the other end, 10 out of 16 for the Serbian team from the, from the free throw line. So possession for the USA with an unsportsmanlike foul. Margin 26. Harden penetrating. Lost the handle, scooped it back in and off the window adds another two. He's now got 19 in the game. Good play for America. Putting James Harden in that right corner, coming off to his preferred left hand. Very difficult to be able to stop. Markovic penetrating. Once Rudolitsa getting involved, Cousins rejected the shot. Well, they've got every base covered here at the moment, and Harden draws the foul. Well, the big fella, you said he's unemployed. He's going to need to go up harder than that if he wants to get a job out of this game. And the technical. Miroslav oh, Rudolitsa. He's come up with his fourth foul with that technical now. And that's not going to please the coach. Georgievich, who stands at the scorer's bench, looking very unhappy indeed. Oh, Steph Curry had to help that in with some body language. Yeah, well, that's like a miss for him. It actually hit the rim. You would expect this one to be nothing but caught. Little adjustment for him. And still undefeated from the line. A little over two minutes played here in the second half. 30 point ball game. It was 14 at quarter time, 26 at the half. And the USA heading toward the gold medal in very impressive fashion. And James Harden has been unbelievable. And so too is Demarcus Cousins as he goes upstairs with a left hand and flushes another two. Almost an argument between Cousins and Fareed, who was going to slam that home. Both had dibs on it. Theodosic guarded by Curry. Shot clock works to 10. Done an excellent job at both ends of the floor, the USA. By Litzer to Markovic with two on the shot clock. He fires, can't complete it. Cousins will crash the rebound into the backboard, then lost control of it. And a short three from Markovic. Seems like it's the trend of this game. And Serbia restart. And going quickly by Litzer fires and knocks down the three. And he switched on here now with 14 points in the game, including five of the seven Serbia have mustered in this term. And Kyrie Irving, he pulls up for the jumper. This time can't complete it. And Kevin Fareed was working against three opponents there, and still they had the fouling. He's a warrior on the boards. You have to work so hard to be able to keep him off position. Unleash the manimal. He is extraordinary. Irving restarts. Harden had to get after the pass. Guarded by Teodosic. Pulls up for the jumper and knocks down another. 21 in the game. Continues to build on his tournament high here. Highest score by a player from the USA individually at the tournament. Fareed's 22. Teodosic gets quickly up the floor. And adds the bucket.
James Harden. Here's Faree. Catch and shoot. Short arm the hook shot. And again, the size of the USA just generating enormous problems for Serbia. And pick up the foul. Great seal from Fareed. Normally he'd make that shot. And as you say, Marcus Cousins in perfect position to be able to try and get the offensive rebound. Serbia have to foul again. And that's their fifth already in the first three minutes, 35 of this third quarter. A great touch for a big fella too, to Marcus Cousins. Oh, now a lane violation, so the missed free throw will be taken again. Can anything else go wrong for Serbia? Cousins with 11 points. His tournament high of 13, which came against the Dominican Republic, is in some danger as well. They are racking up big numbers here. 31 the spread. Less than four minutes played, term number three. Steel Dosage guarded by Curry. Bogdanovic, baseline, double team, needs help. Steel Dosage worked inside Curry, goes from close range. Nice extra pass to get by Litz of the two. His fifth assist, Tia Dosic, 10 points and five assists now. Here's Harden in traffic, appeared to be fouled. It goes on whistle, then a late whistle provided. As Rusko Katic picks up the foul, and James Harden will go to the free throw line. Well, he's just such a difficult matchup when he's in his frame of mind, just so aggressive. Had to be fouled on that occasion. And averaged 25 points a game this year for the Houston Rockets. So it's not unusual for him to be able to put up these sort of numbers. 21 so far. It's been a super display from James Harden. Game high scorer. Just but seemed prepared to do what was required in the games leading into this. But here when the prize is up for grabs, he has turned it on. 23 points. Spectacular display. Margin again into the 30s. Wylitzer picks up the dribble, invites Kristic into the play phase, and he comes up with the finish. Zone now from from Serbia. Why not? Going to try something. James Harden. Shot clock rolls to single numbers. Curry had an open look. Decided to be patient with it. Then couldn't finish it. Loose ball tapped out of court. He was unable to reel it in. Rashko Katic. And the USA will get possession. But not before Rudy Gay and Clay Thompson check in. And Curry and Fareed go to the bench. Fair subs. Knocking down the shot to Anthony Davis. His first points in the game. Yeah, well, he's only played four minutes. He played he played really well early in the tournament. And as we said earlier, he's just got himself in foul trouble the last couple of games and hasn't been able to have the same sort of impact. Dunovic needs help. Supplied there by Katic. Now they go back to Wogdanovic and he comes up with a finish. Just moved the ball so well, Serbians. At the other end, Kyrie Irving peels off another three. 23 in the game. Hasn't missed from long range. He has five of five. Sasha Djordjevic upset. <laughs> they didn't even get a chance to set up their zone defense that time. Bogdanovic has Kadic available, wants to go solo, feeling it at the moment. He knocks down another. He's a very good player. Had a great tournament. Hasn't done much in this game so far, but now starting to warm up with nine points. Harden. Back to Kyrie Irving. Well, he has to miss sooner or later, but not just yet. That's six without a miss from long range for Kyrie Irving. That is just incredible shooting. 
down low Harden is forced to foul pneumonia by Litza. Oh, timeout call by Serbia. He played a tick over six minutes in this third quarter and Kyrie Irving as simply unstoppable 10 of 13 overall from the field and a perfect six of six from deep in a gold medal playoff unbelievable whilst the Serbians were hungry to be able to come out and get a win tonight they'll certainly be satisfied going home with a silver medal at the same time it's their first we saw France pick up the bronze their first at a world cup offensive rebound on then Ed Kristic Kicks outside, Bogdanovic. Now they're going down low again. And Rudy Gay involved in a bit of push and shove. There's going to be called for the foul. It's the third on the USA in this term. Bit undersized in there. Rudy Gay against the seven foot Christich. Violetza, Christich. And swing it around the perimeter. And then Bogdanovich goes down low. My Litza muscling up. It's been called. Foul on the USA. Free throws to come. Clay Thompson will get the foul. Looked like it was pretty good hands from Clay Thompson. Very good defender. Even in the post. Plays with a whole lot of energy. Thompson, been really impressed with his mindset and uh, how he's come out both defensively and offensively in this tournament in every game. They've been able to put points on the board, Serbia. I mean, to have 61 at this stage is exactly where you'd like to be, except when your opponent's got 91. Yeah, well, that's true. Oh, they've shot the ball extremely well in the last three or four games, have the Serbs, and it's a let off for Clay Thompson to actually miss an open three. Just have to shake your head. How do you compete against this, the might of the USA when they're in this form? There's Bogdanovich going to work and he's fouled. And he's off to the free throw line. Rudy Gay picks up the foul. He's got four now. He'll just have to sit down. Rudy Gay, one of three players here for the USA who were part of their World Cup winning team back in 2010, along with Derek Rose and Steph Curry. So they will join the elite. No one has won more than two gold medals at this level. And they'll both be picking up their second, or the three of them will pick up their second. Kyrie, I was going to say, Corey Irving's played more minutes than what he averages so far in this tournament. Coach K giving him a little bit of extra rope. When you're shooting the ball that well, 26 points and four assists, why not? And goes this time. And the finish counts at will. The two is good. Chance at a three-point play here. As DeMar DeRozan gets his first points. And just fresh legs. Check into the game. Straight to the hoop. And Kyrie Irving gets a rest now. And put his hand in a bucket of ice. See if that'll call it off. Well, I hope he doesn't. I'd like to be able to see him extend that. Six out of six from the three-point line. DeRozan getting involved again. And a finger roll tumbles. He adds another two. It's scary for the Serbian team to see the Americans make subs with guys coming off the bench that are hungry to get involved. They're a bit late to the party, but happy to be there. Game-high 35-point lead. Shot clock to seven. Jovic down low. Rushko Karic with it. 
Kicks to Jovic. One on the shot clock. Must fire. Does. And it counts. Was the alley oop play for Davis? Nice finish. The pass from Thompson. Not perfect enough for the dunk, but they take the two nonetheless. Well, that's just athleticism because it wasn't a very good pass at all from Clay Thompson. Way off the mark, but when you're that big and athletic, well, and there's another block. Already the USA have 100. DeRozan is fouled and still goes up and puts on a show as well. Well, the ref wasn't even going to call that foul. And Serbia certainly needed it. Looked at the ref and demanded it. What a finish. Jovic picks up the foul and the tag of party pooper. <laughs> Maybe that will only inspire the Marder Rosen to come up with something even better. Now that one was waved away. Well, he hasn't wasted any time. He's only played two minutes and got six points to his name. So the margin, 37, just continues to grow. A little over a minute out from three-quarter time. Kristich stops, pops, caught a little deep. Davis had a piece of it. Now whistle. And we're going to walk to the other end of the floor for free throws. As Kristich picks up the foul. I went back through some of the history of the tournament and came across the biggest win in a final. The USA defeated Russia back in 1994 in Toronto, Canada, when you were there, Shane, by 46 points, 137-91. And I thought, well, there's no chance of that happening. I might have to rethink that. You just never know, particularly with... The way these guys shoot the three-point shot. Inside the last 60 seconds, term number three. Kristich went to Bogdanovich and he was rejected by Clay Thompson. Ten on the shot clock. And they're putting on a show at the offensive end, but they haven't stopped at the defensive end either. That's been full court, unbelievable skill from the USA. Shooting the ball at 58% from the field. And 59 from three-point territory. Coach Maciszewski has well, been on autopilot for some time here. With full credit to him. And he has this team humming along perfectly at the moment. Well, I'm not sure what the individual scoring record is for the USA. Just had a tweet to say that it's Mello with 37 points versus Nigeria in 2012. Thanks for that. Let's see whether Kyrie can beat that. Well, anything could happen. The way this is going at the moment, Kalinic will go upstairs and throw down the dunk. Rare highlight for Serbia. Makura up on the bench. But it's 37, the spread at the moment, looking at the last play of the third quarter. Only Derek Rose, Mason Plumley, and Andre Drummond are yet to score. Haven't seen Drummond at all. Here's Faree. Hasn't seen a lot of it. Others have been doing the work. Can someone tell Kenneth to leave the three-point shooting to the guards? He's wrecking the stats. <laughs> So free throws to come for the USA with one second to play here in the third. 21 of 22. Serbia 14 of 20. Well, 
Well, they've been all business tonight, the USA. You tip your hat to them. A lot of people try to find ways of being able to write them off at the start of the tournament. Young team, hadn't played a lot together. But they've certainly been impressive game by game. And with a quarter to play, they'll wrap up the gold medal in style. At three-quarter time, it's a 38-point lead for the USA. The might of America, 105, Serbia, 67 here at the end of three. Stadium and all of Europe were going for Serbia in this game. I think whilst you know everyone appreciates the talents of the Americans, everyone wanted to see them go down. Make it even sweeter for the Americans going home with it sort of result that they've been able to put together here. Shot clock to single numbers here. Bogdanovic baseline picks up the dribble. Tough shot over Thompson. Couldn't complete it. And the USA. With DeRozan handing off now. DeRozan getting it back. Thompson in for Fareed. Guarded by Bacevic. Goes to work, gets the two and draws a foul. Chance at a three-point play now for Kenneth Fareed. This is the French team who picked up the bronze medal here last night. Their first medal at the World Cup. Winning by two against Lithuania, 95-93. Fareed's done that all tournament. Well, I'm glad someone sent him the message. Get your big butt down there in the paint. That's where you do your best work. 40-point margin. Bogdanovic in traffic. Anthony Davis nipping at it, but then elected against it knowing he's got three fouls they move it through sets of hands and a tip in tumbles nice athletic work there from Kalinic Thompson fires and missed the lock well you don't see that too often from Clay Thompson ill-advised shot though you can tell he's getting a little impatient <laughs> wants to be able to Get on the scoreboard here and start to rack up a few threes of his own. Jovic in traffic. Feeds Stefan Bocevic. He fires unsuccessfully. Fareed in the open court. Thompson, DeRozan in support. Davis joining in. And Thompson makes the adjustment and adds the two. His first score in the second half. Out to 40 points. Certainly didn't see this one coming. Thought Serbia would have been way more competitive than this. Shot clock again at single numbers. Bogdanovic goes solo with a left hand, clips the front of the rim and tumbles. His first score since three quarter time. Rose for Reed upstairs, went for the dunk, was fouled. And Jovic did well to prevent the dunk. Crowd getting involved now. Didn't like the way Fareed went over and had something to say. All he did was contest the shot there. That's exactly what you want. You're just going to be able to let him go up and dunk on you with no contest. And the big Serbian contingent here who have joined us in Madrid at the Palacio de los Deportes de la Comunidad, just letting Kenneth Fareed know what they think. That was impressive. Can you say that again, Case? I wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fans haven't had too much to cheer about. And this free throw is about as good as it's got for them in this last quarter. Low scoring final quarter, but it had to slow down at some stage. Bodanovic goes to work once more, helps himself to another two. Now with 15 in the game. Only 
Bialica with 18 has more for Serbia. And at the other end, Thompson peels off a two to become the fifth United States player in double figures. Just a simple pin down for Clay Thompson. Just so good at being able to get himself open and hit those threes. Jovic fires unsuccessfully. Davis the rebound. Only his third. Marcus Cousins with nine leads that category in the game. Rudy Gay. He's firing the triple. Caught it a little deep. And Jovic off and running. Stumach goes to work. Off the window comes up with his first points. I thought he got a bit excited. Doesn't play too many minutes, the big fella. Thought he might have travelled there, but just to add a couple of points to his name against the powerful USA team. Clay Thompson takes multiple opponents on, kicks in the corner. And they've knocked down another triple. DeRozan for three. He's up to ten points as well in only seven minutes. At the other end, Serbia get two via Stefan Jovic. Rose. Finds Thompson firing quickly and knocking down another. He's up to 12, including six in this term. It's a, such a quick release to be able to come off those down picks and needs no space at all. Bogdanovic, he fires, can't complete it. Good work from Davis there to keep it alive. And Thompson for Rose. Gay and DeRozan about to join in. He's lost it though. And Clay Thompson happy to go for the foul. Good, good play by Thompson. Gives the Serbs a bit of European basketball of their own. Fouling in transition like that. As you see, he's driving dish to DeRozan in the corner. Six USA players have hit a three in this game. Here's Radulitsa. Plumley snapped the ball out of his hands. Teodosic goes to work. Rebound from Kalinic from close range. Can't complete it. And the two will count. Goaltending call on the USA. Middle stages of the final term. It's 12 points apiece in this quarter. And Rudy Gay. Behind the back. Little it's uh, got some problems here. Rudy Gay just marches into the paint, adds another two. He's into double figures. That's seven in that category for the USA. Diodosic. To Rudolitsa from close range, gets it off quickly, and the finishing touches as well. His first score in the second half. Curry firing the triple, couldn't complete it. Kept alive by Rudy Gay, Plumley had it knocked out of his hands, and the foul is going to be called on Serbia, their third in this term. USA have committed one foul since three-quarter time. Well, Steph Curry's only got seven points in his 18 minutes. One from five from the three-point line. Four of those coming from the free throw line. So you would expect he's going to be the next person to hit double figures. So the three-point shot that could come any time. It's Plumley going to work. Well, he was foul as Serbia prevent the dunk. And the USA team up on their feet from the bench didn't like the foul. And it's a fifth foul and an exit from the game on the Nemanja by Litsa. And it's a warm applause, as you can see, an untidy foul. And he sits down with 18 points, which leads his team. Well, you couldn't see it on screen, but Coach K talking to Tia Dosic about the fouls and the danger of some of these fouls in the last five minutes. Tia Dosic didn't want a bar of it. Ended amicable, but I guess it's a little bit hard to be able to take when you're down 39 points. 
And then Kostic comes in, replacing Miroslav Radulitsa. And the way he's reacting suggests he won't be coming back in at all. Four and a half minutes left on the clock. Kostic hands over to your Dosic. Elio play, and what a finish! Big dunk from Nikola Kalinic to give the Serbian fans something to cheer about. Seventh assist from Tia Dosic. Just going about his business nicely. Shot well short there from DeRozan. And the foul going to be called on the USA. Andre Drum will get another look at it here. Plenty of contact. And uh, Milos Teodosic is called to the bench as well. That is all for his campaign. He'll have a silver medal for his efforts. Been outstanding and perhaps a spot in the All-Star 5. We've got less than four minutes to play. Tough shot from Markovic. Here come the USA. Rose going to work. Looking for his first points. No reply. Now a fast break. Mugdanovic, good look at the three. Can't complete it. And it trickles out of court. Well, you can see the Serbians coming off the court. And as you see, that alley-oop, great pass, good finish. They, uh, they'll be disappointed that they didn't put up more of a fight tonight. But you can see from the reaction and how proud they are to be playing off in this final. They'll certainly be satisfied with the silver medal. Not too many people apart from their own fans, really predicted that they were going to be in this position. Rose fires, can't complete it. A rebound falls to Bogdanovic. A little over three minutes left until full time. Bogdanovic penetrating, going to work, confronted by Andre Drummond. Ball knocked down out of court. Serbia has 12 on the shot clock. Isn't he an exciting talent? Danovic must get to take it to the basket and shoot it from the perimeter as well. Only 22 years old. He's had a great tournament. He passes inside. Stimac from close range gets the two draws. A foul chance at a three point play. Good finish by the big fella. And just looking for Derek Rose. Played 15 minutes. Still hasn't scored in this game, but he's got five assists. And the three-point shooting from him is... <laughs> you would, I reckon if you're a Chicago fan, you'd be sitting at home hoping that he improves pretty quickly. No doubt he will. But he's going to need to as well. It's too much makes the back end there. So the margin cut to 32. Serbia have outscored the USA 21-15 in this final quarter. Curry. Rose alley -oop play for Drummond to get involved and open his scoring account. Great pass from Derek Rose. His sixth assist for the game. Bogdanovic did well there. Curry almost relieved him of it. Simonovic fires, can't complete it. And the USA off and running. Rose always looking for Curry. They forced the error. Jovic. Ali who plays too much for the dunk. Well, I'll enjoy that. There hasn't been a whole lot to cheer about for Serbia. But here in the final quarter, they've outscored the USA 23-17. And they've had just a little excitement for their fans. Bogdanovic now taking a seat. 15 points for him. He'd be proud of his tournament. There's no doubt about that. Rosen, here's Drummond upstairs. Oh, what a monster of a man he is. And he flushes another two. A nice assist from DeMar DeRozan. And what a scoreline for the USA. 124 in the game. Cutic, he knocks down the shot for his first points in the game.
Here's Curry. Got his feet set, and he peels off the three. 15 of 29 at 52% the USA from deep. It's been over for a long time, but they just continue to roll on. Kadic puts it on the floor. Hook shot wouldn't tumble. Drum on the rebound. Now Curry. We get Derek Rose involved. This is Curry getting it from Plumley. Shot clock to 10 for the USA. Curry, step back. Drummond with a tip in. Off the window, he banks another two for the USA. So inside the last 60 seconds, margin is 37. And they're starting to wave the towels on the USA bench. They'll celebrate early here and why not? Because they have put on a show. They'll celebrate early, but I reckon they'll celebrate late as well. Both teams will enjoy themselves, I would imagine, tonight here in Madrid before they get back to business again, either in Europe or the NBA seasons. Going to work. Jovic can't complete it. Stimach had a piece of it. Now Plumley puts a stop to it. Curry for Thompson. Drummond wanted it early. He wanted to get it to Plumley for the exciting finish. It comes unstuck. No damage done. And the fans rise to their feet here. Serbia will celebrate the silver medal. The USA are going to celebrate with gold. Shot clock will expire. Well, Simonovic will fire one up just before it does. And now the celebrations can begin. They came in as hot favourites and the USA are going home with gold. They win their fifth World Cup and do it in style. It's history for the USA. Back-to-back -back wins at this tournament for the first time ever. And it comes on the end of a 37-point win. The USA 129, Serbia 92.